Today I'm going to try something slightly different and show you how to make some killer black and whites using your iPad or iPhone. Uh, first thing you'll need to do is download the Snapseed app from the App Store and then have an image that you want to adjust. So as you can see you get all sorts of choices what you want to do with Snapseed. Everything works quite well. Uh, it doesn't work quite as well as Photoshop but hey you get what you pay for. So if you want to make convert a black and white, just go down to the black and white screen down here in the left. Go ahead and click on it, and it'll give you a bunch of cool different options. Uh, the first thing I always like to do when making a black and white image is to change the color filter. I typically like to make the sky as dark as possible. So uh, using a red filter, it'll make all the blues in the image darker. So as you can see, you got a before and then the after. Um, in... Uh, Snapseed itself, you can adjust the brightness, contrast, and grain by touching your iPhone or iPad screen and just clicking up or down to select what you want to adjust. I think this image looks a little bright, so if you swipe to the left, it'll make the image darker, and vice versa. If you go right, it'll brighten the image. So as I said, I think it's a little too bright, so let's go ahead and just drop that down a little bit. Black and whites always look good with a little extra contrast. It'll make your whites whiter and your darks darker, though I will say that I'm getting some banding. In, in the sky, which isn't too good. Um, Snapseed's also cool because it'll have all these interesting presets, and by that I mean there's only three in the black and white. Um, so what's also cool is if you see the uh, compare down there in the lower left, uh, you can kind of see your before and then your after. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so you go ahead and click apply, which is in the lower right. It'll process it. One of the other cool, really uh, really good tools here in Snapseed is the Selective Adjust, which will allow you to adjust specific uh, colors and tone, tonal ranges within the image. Uh, you do this by clicking the Add button, which is in the menu bar. And then watch this. Watch the loop. Depending on where you put that little red mark, uh, that's what's going to... That's like the selection thing. That's telling uh, the app what range and what tones you want to adjust. So if you leave it here on the pier... Um, you can see what you're adjusting by uh, making it bigger or smaller. The red area of the image is going to be the image that's going to be affected. So you can see that I'm not really affecting that much uh, of that image if I leave the little red marker over a black part of the image. But take a look when I click there and pull it down to a white part of the image. And then, you know, pinch or, you know, make it bigger or smaller by pinching on the screen. You can see that I'm affecting a much, much greater range of uh, those whites. So I think here it's a pretty good idea to brighten up some of these whites just a touch. It'll give it kind of a vignette feel. So you can just brighten this contrast and saturation. Saturation in a black and white image will have no effect. Um, but here, watch what happens when we just brighten up those whites just a little bit. Really kind of adds a little bit more pop. It's subtle, which is good. Though it almost looks like it's becoming a little bit uh, yellow on my, my screen here, even though it's not. You can also adjust contrast to uh, certain parts of the image. Let's go ahead and uh, add a new new adjustment to the sky. Let's make that nice and big. Not too big because I just realized I don't really want to darken the pier, but if we just tone down those skies just a little bit, uh, I think we uh, improve our image significantly. So I'm going to take uh, two different adjustment tools because I don't want to affect too much of this image. But as you can see, before and after, adds quite a nice vignette and it adds the vignette where you want to draw the uh, the eye to. So you'd go ahead and hit apply. Uh, I always like to sharpen my images too and the sharpening profiles within Snapseed are quite good. So you would do that just by going to details. Sharpening is going to affect the smaller details of the image, the edges. Uh, if you hit structure it's going to tell the app how uh, it's going to affect a, a larger, the larger details, and it's hard to explain exactly what those two different things do, but think of sharpening as uh, the amount, the, the darkness. There's always black around each individual pixel in a digital image. Uh, sh sharpening it is going to make that dark, uh, that, that black line around the uh, pixel darker, and the structure is going to make it bigger. So if you sharpen more, you're going to increase the fine details. If you add more structure, you're going to add more uh, detail to the overall larger parts of the image. I think it's good not to go too overboard with structure. As you can see, it really pops up that, that banding I was talking about, which will happen when you use black and white images. But throwing a little bit extra sharpening in here will make the, just the smaller details better. 
you can always compare and contrast. It's kind of hard to tell the difference, but mostly it's in the pier and in the details in the water. So there you go. That's a quick way to make a pretty good image, black and white image there in uh, Snapseed. Hope you learned something. Thanks for checking it out.